From the products page, select the product you are listing by clicking on the product name. Select listings from the menu on the left. Enter the profile name of your eBay account. If you have multiple eBay accounts, the profile name is simply used to identify the different accounts that you have. Select your eBay account from the channel drop down menu and then select your eBay account from the account drop down menu. Click the plus sign to the left of the profile name and this will create the eBay account. Select edit to continue. There are five sections to complete. The information tab, the description tab, the images tab, the shipping tab and the MISC tab. Using the quick load bar along the top of the page, select general from within the info drop down menu. This pre-populates the listing with the information you previously entered in the general tab. Information such as the product title, price and description on barcode. Now enter the category information by choosing from the options available from the primary category selection. Complete the secondary category if relevant. If you have your own store categories, select the appropriate store categories from the options available to you. Click the description tab. The description will be automatically populated into the description field. If you are using an eBay template and this has already been saved to Channel Grabber, apply this template by selecting it from the Quick Load Design drop down menu. You are able to view the template by selecting the preview template link. Click the images tab. Select image 1 from the primary image drop down list. If you have additional images that you wish to list, tick each of these images from within secondary images. Click the shipping tab. You will notice Channel Grabber applies your default dispatch policy to this listing. You can however override this by entering an alternative. You can set up your domestic and international shipping rules. To set up your domestic eBay shipping rules, click Add More. From the shipping service drop down list, select the shipping service you offer for this product. Enter the postage cost and in the additional cost field, enter the cost of shipping additional items. If there are no additional costs, leave this set to zero. To add another rule, click Add More. Select the next shipping service, postage cost and additional cost. Repeat as necessary until all of your shipping options have been added. If you want to apply international shipping rates to this product, select the international shipping service, cost and additional cost as before. Select the regions you post from, from the regions drop down list. If you want to select multiple regions, hold the control key down on your keyboard and click each region, only releasing the control key once all regions have been selected. If you want to save your shipping rules as a template so that they can be used again, select save as template and give the template a name. The next time you list to eBay, you can use a quick load bar to load your shipping template. Channel Grabber also gives you the option to use eBay's domestic and international rate table. To do this, select the tables as demonstrated. Click the miscellaneous tab. Select the payment methods that you accept. Working down the list, select the options which are appropriate. If you have multiple PayPal accounts and have set these up in Channel Grabber, then select the correct PayPal address from the drop down list. The default returns policy you set up when you created your eBay account in Channel Grabber will be applied. However, you can override the returns days by selecting from the options available to you. To list your product to eBay, select Submit. Channel Grabber will notify you of the listing cost and if the listing was successful almost immediately. Congratulations! you have successfully listed your product to eBay.